We are approaching that time of year when Western North Carolina is all about apples. And tonight, a winery there is showing us a new way of celebrating the state's famous fruit. WYFF News 4's Mike McCormick takes us to Hendersonville. All right, so the, uh, the next wine I'm going to pour for you all is our uh, 2013 uh, Hendersonville uh, apple wine. Taking one sip is like biting into five different apples. Nice. That is too nice. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. These tasters are joining you in getting a sneak peek at what Burnt Shirt Vineyards did with apples grown in Henderson County. That is yummy. Each glass gives you the flavors of Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, Fuji, Pink Lady, and Rome apples. For the region, it's very unique. Very unique. Justin Taylor is the assistant winemaker at Burnt Shirt Vineyards. It's really exciting to, to honor the, uh, you know, the, the region itself. Not only with an apple wine, but uh, at the right time of year. They get cider from a processor in Hendersonville and use their own winery for fermentation and finishing. But nobody can really claim to do an apple wine in such a beautiful apple growing area uh, as this. General Manager Joe Scott says they have close to 4,500 bottles of the apple wine that'll debut at a public celebration on Saturday. We've had a lot of uh, initial interest in it and people calling me and saying, Hold me a case, hold me a case. They say it has a touch of sweetness and the crispness of hard cider, but with a higher alcohol content and no carbonation. The local fruit, though, makes the flavor unbeatable. And coming up at Burn Shirt Vineyards, they have a lot of events to juggle, including that apple wine debut tomorrow. There's also a grape stomp coming up. We've put all the information in the on TV section of WIFF4.com. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4 in Henderson County.